when you see so many lies and and so much propaganda and and so many psyops that are being done on people you start seeing them where they don't exist hello and welcome to your mining disrupt news surge for monday april 29th 2024 as always everything that you see here is for entertainment and education purposes only that is especially true for this one today. This is mostly on the entertainment side of things. Be sure you scan this QR code right down there to get your tickets to the Mining Disrupt Expo happening in Miami, Florida. Coming up quick here, June 24th through the 26th. We're going to be talking about the FUD news this week. The Samurai Wallet, the FBI notice, all of that. But let's get through the numbers real quick before we jump into that. The current Bitcoin price is $63,690, meaning you will get yourself 1,570 sats for a single dollar. The market cap, which I don't usually touch on, is about $1.25 trillion. One and a quarter trillion dollars for all of Bitcoin. The next difficulty adjustment is going to be a barely noticeable downward tick of 0.32% because the blocks are coming in almost exactly on time, right at 10 minutes and two seconds. The fees, remember last week when they were so ridiculously high after the halving? Well, they're back down to normal, regular, whatever fees. So now's a good time to consolidate some UTXOs if you're looking to do that. Now let's get into this news. I played that clip from Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson's recent chat because I think what he's talking about there applies to quite a few Bitcoiners. Bitcoiners get out there, they start digging, they start turning over rocks, and they start seeing things that in many cases are there, but then they start doing the Charlie Day, Pepe Silva, drawing lines and connecting things that sometimes are there, but sometimes aren't there. A few days ago, this happened. This website has been seized. This is the Samurai Wallet website. And this got people rattled, to say the least. It has been all the talk on Bitcoin Twitter. I came across this tweet here that kind of summarizes what I've been seeing. Proper way to model social media is that the average user spends at most 300 milliseconds to 3 seconds looking at a tweet, does not read it, does not pause to think about it, but still instantly reacts with whatever emotion the vibe of the post gave them. Then they instantly forget and keep scrolling. This is a rather long tweet from Samson Mao, who is a pretty solid Bitcoiner who goes around trying to educate nation states on adopting Bitcoin. I'm not going to go through the whole thing here, but he breaks down the Samurai Wallet news into four parts. Samurai Wallet was a self-custodial wallet. Okay, there we go. That's one fact. Samurai was a mixer. That's fact number two. Number three, Samurai was providing normal people with privacy. Okay, there you go. Three things. Number four, Samurai were knowingly marketing the service to criminals and flaunting that fact. Rodriguez and Hill operated Twitter accounts that encouraged and openly invited users to launder criminal proceeds through Samurai. For example, in or around June 2022, Samurai's Twitter account, operated by Rodriguez, posted the following message regarding Russian oligarchs seeking to circumvent sanctions. Welcome new Russian oligarch Samurai wallet users. At Samurai, we are entirely focused on the censorship resistance and black slash gray circular economy. This implies no foreseeable mass adoption, although black slash gray markets have already started to expand during COVID and will continue to do so post COVID. You can't just have your own private bar where you're brewing a bathtub moonshine and serving it to people and then advertising, hey, this is a good place to come and get drunk and we will serve to whatever age you want. Bring your bring your kids along. This is a great place. Hey, high schoolers, middle schoolers, and elementary school students too. We don't check IDs. You're gonna get the police showing up and saying, hey, you don't have a liquor license. This is completely illegal. This ends now. Here's another long tweet that I'm going to kind of skim through. But the problem with these longer tweets is that they require you to read. You don't get to have an emotional reaction by reading three words. I don't like that. You actually have to read and digest. And that's a really, really big ask for a lot of people browsing Twitter and that have the mind of a half-eaten peanut. Here's Daniel White saying, I see a lot of folks stressing about bans on self-custody and whatnot. 
I get it. It makes sense and people are scared. I am not. All prisons ban drugs. All prisons have thriving economies and drugs. All prisons ban weapons. All prisons have thriving economies and weapons. Those are the most constantly surveilled environments that humans exist in, and it's a trivial matter to circumvent it all. Stay humble, stack acts, think clearly, you know, that's a big ask, but think clearly, and if and when they come, tell them to go fuck themselves. Quietly, of course, maybe give them a smile while you're at it. At Nakadai underscore Mon says, Napster failed, BitTorrent didn't, I still use BitTorrent. Wild, huh? And of all the news that has gotten me more rattled and rousled than anything else, it's gotta be this one right here. I might wrestle some feathers with what I'm about to say here, but when I read this first paragraph, the first two sentences here, my reaction was not the reaction that I'm seeing from so many other people. So many people read this right here, this one right here. We believe that Zeus is following the letter of the law right now. If that law changes or any judgments are made, we will make adjustments accordingly. Uh, we're not going anywhere. Be like, yeah, Zeus, ah, sticking it to the man. No, 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 no. Not sticking it to the man. That is not what this is. This is, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're doing whatever they say. And, and right here, if the law changes or any judgments are made, we will make adjustments accordingly. We're doing everything that we know to do. Hands up. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, sir. Uh, absolutely. Following the letter of the law. And if the letter of the law changes, we will do that. Whatever you say, Mr. Government, Uncle Sam. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. May, whatever. Yep. Mm -hmm. No problem. I don't under... It doesn't make sense. This is why you cannot get wrapped up and, and, and dragged along with the insanity that that shows up on Twitter when people have these knee-jerk reactions to things. Here from Shire Hoddle, a little bit more of a well-reasoned opinion here. They can't and won't make self-custody illegal. I can hold my own gold, diamonds, anything I have that has market value. What would be the basis of the ban? They're trying to treat Bitcoin the way they want to treat cash, but even that isn't completely a reality yet. Gonna round things out with some interesting news here and then some real bullish news here. This one is on the heels of the having via BTC accidentally sold common Satoshi from transaction fees instead of the epic Satoshi from Coinbase. The, the whole runes thing is just continues to be ridiculous. BNY Mellon reported owning shares in BlackRock and Grayscale, Bitcoin ETFs SEC filing. America's oldest bank is buying Bitcoin. This one from BitcoinNews.com. New, there's going to be 300 billion, I believe. That's 1% of 30 trillion coming into the space within 12 months. That's actually more money than has ever been converted to Bitcoin in 15 years, says Morgan Creek Capital CEO Mark Yusko. And then this final tweet from vivic for real Hong Kong Bitcoin ETF in two days. Are you mentally prepared? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? My closing thought for you is this. As the Bitcoin space matures, as more people become aware of it, as it gains wider adoption, it's going to need to fall within the regulatory framework of the current law of the land. Because Bitcoin, last I knew, is the only crypto asset, if you want to use that umbrella term, that got 10 ETFs approved by the SEC, is the only one that is worth uh, 15 odd billion dollars that MicroStrategy has on their balance sheet, that is the only one that MicroStrategy is going to hold a conference on talking about corporations and adoption and integration in Las Vegas here coming up pretty soon. None of the others have that. And you don't get to have all of those benefits of the world paying attention if it's just this loosey-goosey, wackadoo thing. Y you don't get both. You don't. So we're going to see more crackdowns on the loosey-goosey side of things. But that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Well, if you want mass adoption. What do you want?